Sean, Sean, we got more issues. Let's, uh, what? Come on, come on. Not a big issue, but it is, it is an issue. We're gonna get it fixed today, and today's gonna be an awesome video. Ready to see this? We got just a good headlight right here. And then just a nothing. Bad just, just a bad, just a bad headlight. headlight. Dude. What we're gonna be doing today, instead of instead of me just going to the store and buying a couple new bulbs, I actually hit up my friends over at Fly Ride who did the lights on the WRX. I wanted to see if they had anything to help me uh, make these lights look a little bit better. And come to find out, they were actually working on some tail lights for me. And they do have some stuff in the shop that we can go ahead and actually open these up, paint them, and put some demon eyes in. Hell yeah, dude. It's, it's gonna be good. freaking sick. So we have about an hour, 30, hour, 45 minute drive, but it's gonna be totally worth it. Let's go, uh, let's go fix these lights up. Alright, we I, I think we made it. I'm not sure. There is a car, so I mean I'm guessing it's in the slot. I somewhere. think it's on the back side possibly. Look at the well, look at this speed oh bump. That is a mount. You make it though. Oh my Let's go side. That's a, that's a mound. <laughs> JDM version. So the tails that I have now don't have the amber. It's just clear. But these are the JDM tails. That's what we'll be working with today. Yeah. So I think my my idea is that we should put these on the car, enjoy them. Just you know, they'll have the cool JDM look to them. And we'll take your tails that you have now. We'll do something special with those, and then document it, make a dope DIY, show everybody how to do some cool mods. Yeah. And um, and then you'll have two sets of cool tails and figure out what to do with them. Sick. All right, so first up, we are going to uh, take off the headlights, right? Yeah, so we're actually going to do this DIY style thing. We're literally going to pull these off, open them up, bake them, go to O'Reilly's, get some spray paint, and paint them up, and then do all of that awesome stuff. <laughs> Got the bumper off. We're taking the headlights off right now. Almost there. A little bit harder than we thought. Get it? stock headlights off so I'm gonna open this thing up completely and just paint all of this lose the amber man's has like an industrial awesome <laughs> oven but you can you can do this in your home oven I've done it before with the Subaru just know that you don't need all this fancy equipment to get this stuff done I won't even use this this is what we normally use to seal the lights this dispenses the black sealant these lights have the gray and so it's just what you can buy in a box. I'm just gonna stick this one in the oven. We've got a couple wood blocks that we'll stick it on. And uh, I'm gonna heat it up for about five minutes at 240 degrees. So. Two. Let's go, Dustin. Round two. Thing like that, so. Uh, I saw him do it. I think it's about time I go for it. Oh, I locked this. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Doctor's in, Sean. <laughs> Let's go. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. 
Perfect. Now Chris is going to work on the demon eye on the projectors over there, so we'll go take a look at that. But it's good. We got both of the headlights open. Now we can start going to get some paint, starting on the demon eyes, all of that stuff. What's the plan for the projector on these? So because it's a totally closed up unit, the only way I can get inside there and add anything cool is if I take the whole projector out. Kind of important that I know the settings on this because this is going to mess with how it adjusts left, right, up, down, all of that. Now we can take the lens off. I'm gonna put some gloves on so I don't touch the glass and mess it up. And then we'll set it to the side. We'll open this up. And then basically I'm gonna have to drill through the metal on the bottom of this thing so I can mount the LED. And then wires will come out safely from the bottom. And These demon eyes will actually be changing colors, so it's not only going to be red, it'll be all, like all the different colors. I can change it from my iPhone, which is really cool. It'll be a bunch of just really gnarly colors. Put these back together, and then we're going to do the entire thing again on the other side. Actually, before we do the second demon eye, we're going to go out and go grab some paint. So like I said, we're not using any kind of special paint. You can go out and get this at your local your local automotive store. I think we're going to go to like O'Reilly's or AutoZone or something like that. Uh, I'll show you guys when we get there. Engine enamel, and it needs to be like a gloss. Black. Yeah, I go low gloss black. Low. Dual tip, I'm gonna get two of them. Yeah. All you guys complaining about his, uh, his big exhaust tips, man. This is, what this is the next move. Actually, two of them? This is basically your exhaust right now. Yeah, this is actually better. <laughs> Whoa, we made it. This is like household stuff. This is what everybody has access to. You can do this in your backyard. Dirty piece of wood to paint on, a couple of cans of paint. Just want to get any dust off of this, and it's going to lightly scuff it, as you can tell just by looking at that. Adhesion promoter. So all that this is going to do is it's going to stick to that part better, especially because we lightly scuffed it. It's going to get into those little tiny scratch marks and kind of grab it, and then the paint is going to grab onto this. If you don't do that, and if you paint too quickly and put too many layers on top of each other, paint can crinkle and kind of like it's bad. You don't want crinkling paint. This will help that. Three coats later and this is the this is the turnout. It looks oh yeah like this color is very very nice. Thank you. Here's some so we'll sit there, let this dry for a minute, and then we'll pack all this back up, go to the shop, and then start putting everything back together, finish up the demon eyes, and the headlights are gonna be awesome. All right, so Chris actually is gonna put these in the oven to let this paint harden and make sure there's no moisture in the paint and stuff. Then he's gonna go over here and he's working on the second demon eye. Once all of that's done, we can start placing everything together and putting them back on the car. All right, so while that's baking, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick tail light change for this JDM Evo 8 or Evo 9 tail light. Go ahead and swap those out real fast and get that done. So with these, these will only be temporary. I will not keep those on the car because these OEM taillights fully custom. So while he has these taillights in his possession, I will just have these for something to be on the car. And then once the OEM ones are done, swap them back with their full custom setup. And it's gonna be really, really awesome. Just putting these in for now. JDM gear bumper with a JDM tail. Woo! JDM special. I like them. I mean, I think they look good. I'm getting there with the headlights just a little bit longer to let that paint get all hardened, and then we will go back and put them together.
Now we'll heat it up like this. We'll heat it. Once everything's really nice and warm, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna use those little clamps right there. Just clamp everything down. And then any excess sealant that we have, we'll just kind of run along the edge so it seals it up super well. Ooh. Dang, that looks crazy. Hmm. All done on the first one. So I'll put it on the bench right now, turn on the DM9. Cool. Check it out. Headlight is all done. We put new HIDs, running lights, and uh, turn signals. So this entire headlight should be completely done. We're gonna plug everything in, make sure it works, and then we'll be good to go. Got the lights in now, looking good. Put in that one, just to make sure they all work. Everything's good there. Chris just finished up this one. After we bolt the headlights in, we're gonna wire up the demon eyes, put the bumper on, and then we'll show you the finished product. Demon eyes, so the cool thing about these demon eyes is I can change any color I want to on my phone. So check this out. Type up freaking if I want purple, we got purple boys. That's so sick. If I want blue, do some blue, green. Gotta tell dude. Damn man, that's sick. So now we gotta do oh. Just rock the fire ride T while you do it. Yeah. You can play with Dude. your car lights. Thank you so much. This You're is welcome, so bro. sick. I'll, I'll link fly ride in the description and their uh, their YouTube thing going on here. I'll link that video down there as well. Thank you so much, man. Welcome, and of bro. course, if you guys are interested in this, be sure to hit up fly ride, email, Instagram, all that good stuff. Thank you so much, dude. Bro. Thank you. Yeah, the viewers are gonna love this. So very nice to meet you, bro. Hey there, brother. Hi guys. Okay. That was a successful day, Sean. Yeah, bro. It's very good. So, you know, just making our typical road trip stop, getting our uh, our protein coffee, and, you know, of course, Sean's got to be freaking weird and get the old crusty tuna sandwiches that you find this in, like, is... the nasty corner aisle of the gas station. Dude, it's really this is delicious, hungry, dude. This is actually really good. Dude. Dustin doesn't want to have the other one. You know, it's all good. Dude, I've had fun eating your crusty tuna. Dude, watch this. Oh my god. Ugh. <sighs> 12 o'clock midnight. Alright guys, so it has been quite some time since I last, last updated you on the vlog. Me and Sean are out on the beach just uh, oh, doing a little chilling. filming. Look at those eyes though. Ooh. Can't get over it. Dang, dude. That's just... It's Amazing. nuts. So we're out here taking a few pictures. Uh, with the demon eyes. So I have them set on red, but as you saw earlier, I can do any color that I want. Since the demon eyes are already up, I'll go ahead and show you uh, show you the controls for that. Controlling all by Bluetooth, I can do any color that I want. So you can see me, the controller changes as the light change. So that's pretty dope, put it back on red. So we can do solid, we can have it do like breathing, which is kind of like a pulsing action. And we also have strobe, which will make it flash. Anyways, as I was saying, my camera just died, so we're using the Sony now. Tons of customizable options for this. We'll just keep it on the solid red for now. Also, I'll go ahead and turn this off and show you guys the actual light setup that we have. So we have your basic HIDs. Uh, we have LED daytime running lights. And then we have just your basic amber turn signals. Headlights are a little bit I'm dirty right now, we'll clean those up. But, so just wanted to give you guys a basic rundown of, of the lighting we did today. Huge thank you to Fly Ride. I'll put a full parts list in the description of what we used today. That's gonna be it for the vlog. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.